What's up everybody, this is Danny, and today I'm going to be looking at the brand new, just announced Oppo R5. And we're here at the N3 event, and this was definitely the surprise of the show. And it is the thinnest smartphone in the world at 4.85 millimeters thin. And this is incredibly thin, almost fake kind of, because it's so thin. But the build quality is absolutely gorgeous. And if you look at it, it looks kind of like the iPhone 5S with the striping and the metal on the back but it is so solidly built and it feels great in the hand. So it's mostly metal construction here and it comes with a full 1080p Super AMOLED display panel here. And I just like the way it feels in the hand. It's almost impossibly thin and you can see how thin this is in my hand. It's just almost surreal holding this thing in your hand. So if you want to know what it looks like next to the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, it makes the Note 4 look like an absolute boat. Look at how thick that is in comparison to the R5. Now there is the iPhone 6, and the iPhone 6 is a thin product as well, but look at how much thinner that the R5 is. So that might give you a great idea of exactly how thin the R5 is. So let's take a quick tour of the brand new R5, and on the right-hand side, you will see the power button, also with the volume rocker switch, and it's easily accessible, by the way, and if feels good in the hand with the power button and up top you'll find absolutely nothing just antenna bands and on the bottom you'll find antenna bands as well with the micro USB port and also the primary microphone and the opposite side all you will find is a sim card slot. Up top you will find the earpiece, your appropriate sensors and the 5 megapixel front facing camera with f2.0 aperture and on the bottom you'll see three capacitive buttons menu, home and back. The display is a 5.2 inch 1080p display at 423 ppi and this is a super AMOLED display. So this is very vibrant here, exactly what you would expect out of an AMOLED panel. It looks very sharp and the touch response on the display is very nice as well. And then feeling in the hand because it's so thin, it just feels surreal like I said before holding it in your hand but the display is definitely coming to life here as you can see it's got good contrast levels and it also has very good viewing angles now it's not really doing it much justice showing you on camera here but the viewing angles are absolutely superb so definitely impressed with the display this is the white and silver model, but it will be available in some other colors, including gray and gold. So let's take a look at the OS here. This is Color OS 2.0, and if you're used to Oppo devices, then this will look very similar to you. But if you look, there is no app tray this time whatsoever. It's just one continuous panel. This is very similar to some of the other Chinese phone makers out there. Now, when we go into the settings, you'll see there is a darker theme, which I think looks much nicer. And if we go to about phone, then you'll be happy to know it is running Android 4.4.4. And the actual processor set that is powering this thing is an absolute beast. This is the Snapdragon 615 processor, which is an 8-core, 1.5 gigahertz, 64-bit processor with 2 gigabytes of RAM. The R5 being the thinnest smartphone in the world, they did have to make a few sacrifices here, so we'll go over a few of them. The first one is the 13 megapixel Sony Exmor BSI sensor that is at f2.0 aperture. So it should be a very fast lens and it's going to be a capable lens. But the one thing that you'll notice is that it's got a pretty heavy protrusion coming from the back of that camera. So some people may not like that and if you lay this flat on a surface, you might get a little bit of unevenness. Now the second thing that you'll notice is that there is absolutely no 3.5 millimeter headphone jack anywhere so you're gonna have to use your favorite bluetooth headphones if you want to listen to audio but there will be an adapter that goes into the usb portion on the bottom that will allow you to use your regular 3.5 millimeter headphones now the third thing is that it has a 2000 milliamp sealed in battery so the battery life i won't know until i actually test this device but it does support that rapid vuk charging so we should be able to charge this phone very quickly with the new adapter that they will provide. So before I go, let's take a quick look at the camera. Look at how fast the shutter and autofocus is. So that's very nice on first impressions. And this is a 13 megapixel camera that defaults to the four by three aspect ratio, but you can drop down to 10 megapixels here and go to the 16 by nine wide. Now the video mode only shows 1080p, but it will support 4K video recording in the final build. So the camera software looks very similar to the Oppo N3, but you can check out my first impressions and hands-on as well. And it will support all these modes like you see especially the ultra hd which has that 50 megapixel stitch shot that you saw in the find 7. 
So I hope you enjoyed the first look and first impressions of the brand new Oppo R5, which is the thinnest smartphone in the world right now. Very impressed with this device. It's so thin and it's very well weighted. It's got a nice center of gravity there. It's 155 grams, but it feels so solid in the hand. So I can't wait to get my hands on this device and actually get it for myself. So let me know what you guys think of the R5 and leave your comments in the comment section below. And make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more quality content content and more coverage on the Oppo R5 and thanks for watching guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.